Well, this is the first World of Craft War from the DM's Craft Forums. Okay, so I'm creating a large magical artifact. That's DM Scotty's choice for what we have to do. And uh, I'm using 4x4 four four squares, but in hindsight I probably should have used 5x5 five five squares. See video 1 for sorry, video two for the squares layout. So I'm gonna grab some standard cardboard and I also have a Christmas bauble, which looks like um, a wire cage. And I'm going to measure one and a half centimeter wide cardboard strip so that I can use this as an arch over this wire cage bauble. And then I um, place it down and bend the edges so that the arch can be in place. And then I use a compass in order to measure a circle up to those points. Then in each corner, I'm going to measure another circle, which is approximately two centimeters apart. Uh, sorry, two centimeters in diameter. It's about uh, just under an inch. And uh, do that in all four corners. And then uh, these are the Christmas baubles I'm going to be using. So I've got four of them. Um, I didn't have all shiny ones, two were sort of matte and two were shiny, so I'm just going to use different ones in each corner in opposition to one another. So now I'm just going to use the craft knife and cut out the central circle and peel off the top layer. So we want to get through the corrugation on the top layer, so we're down to the second layer of cardboard, similar to how we've done stairs and other um, uh, items for depth like chasms and that sort of thing. Then I created a central circle from that about one inch from the edge uh, and uh, pulled out that, uh, cut out the uh, circle and pulled it out down to the bottom layer. What I'm going to use is these riverine rocks. They're typically used for uh, fish tanks and things like that little glass uh, black squares and these are uh, the blue parts from a splashback that I found someone had discarded when they were upgrading their kitchen. So now what I do is find the central point of the arch and uh, then pierce a hole so that I can stick the uh, the um, catch of the bauble at the top through there and then I'm just going to apply some hot glue and paste the arch down so the bauble is hanging and then in order to craft I'm going to pull the bauble out and we'll replace that later. So now I'm going to place a line of hot glue for a quarter of the way around and start placing some of the splashback squares. These are actually glass um, and I'm doing alternating colors. Now originally I just laid them out around so that uh, I could determine sort of how many that I required and I did half on one side and half on the other side in different colors but now I'm going to alternate them. Yeah, it's just an interesting look and an interesting effect and that's why I chose them. Um, I'm going to use a lot of boots and speed in this and boots of hyperspeed just to get through it all. It is quite a long build but uh, it's worth it in the end. So uh, make sure that uh, they're all stuck down properly and now I'm just going to grab some of those black glass squares and I'm going to lay them out on the inside track circle and um, it's going to require two rows. Now, if you can't find these glass things, you can just use uh, cardboard or something like that just to represent the tiling that's inside there. Um, so it doesn't have to be exactly the same thing. And if you can't find the same sort of cage ball, you could use another one that's solid or something like that. Um, it's totally up to you. I mean, the idea is really, if you found some objects that are very interesting and you want to put them into something like this, uh, it's you know quite a, a nice way to just sort of create from interesting found objects and uh, so the idea sprung in mind when I saw the Christmas decoration and uh, I've had these rocks for a long time because that's how I used to do dungeons so I'm just on the outside of the arch here I'm just placing hot glue and uh, placing rock on top of one another going up the arch We'll go about halfway up on this side and then start doing the other side. So the way I used to do this before I saw DM Scotty's videos was I used to do um, popsicle sticks with these glass, sorry, these uh, riverine rocks on top of them to create movable walls. And then I had a square layout 
um, that I could just place the walls on which would be representative of the map and uh, it was quite chaotic moving the walls around all the time it took a long time to build all the walls and hence I now use the 2.5D method invented by DM Scotty so there are going to be a lot of wisps so make sure you clean them off and then inside the final circle I'm just going to put uh, hot glue in around the edges and then just create a hot glue spiral because that is going to be a pool of chaotic magic or necromantic magic or any kind of magic really um, this machine is kind of nondescript so I'm putting the cage back in I'm putting a matchstick through the loop to hold it in place and keep it sturdy and then I'm just going to place rocks over the top of that with hot glue and then I place a line of hot glue over the top of all the rocks that just to help keep them in place I pulled down a bit on the um, on the cage just to reshape the arch a bit um, and then I go to work on applying more rocks to the um, base on each side of the arch just to give it some volume now what I'm doing is putting rocks around the edges so it creates almost like it was a natural hole and then it's had uh, these uh, glass tiles put in um, and so it's, it's like it could have been built around a natural uh, phenomenon or natural magical phenomenon and again just applying hot glue and applying stones around the edge of the base just to build it up and uh, build up the effect of a rock arch uh, this does become quite heavy uh, and storage is a little bit problematic but uh, it's worth it um, I will start using this quite a lot of my games I've got quite a few good ideas of what it can be used for um, my players do watch this channel so I'm not going to say what that is but eventually they'll walk into it and go ah oh, here we go <laughs> all right so we'll just continue adding bits of rock to the base of the arch and up the sides uh, just to build it up and build it up uh, so that uh, it forms uh, a barrier around the cardboard so you can barely see the cardboard anymore and here slightly out of shot is I'm just placing them up the sides so here I'm just placing hot glue and putting the Christmas baubles down I chose gold ones because they will look like part of a machine you could use silver as well I don't really want to use any colored ones um, and now around those I'm just going to place some hot glue and uh, put down more of the black glass squares again if you can't find that sort of thing you can just use cardboard in the end it will look very very similar um, but as you can see a whole box of those I found somewhere and I'm just going to use them up let's uh, just go around all four and do that it's always important to when you're when you're looking at things to think not of what they are but what of what they can be and here I have a whole bunch of uh, bones and uh, skulls from Halloween leftovers from a dollar store purchase of a bone and skull necklace um, or sorry it was a wristband I think but uh, they come in very very handy for doing decorative things like this so I'm placing two small skulls at the top of the arch and uh, then in each of the four corner quadrants I'm going to place one of these inverted what look like shark's teeth so if you if you don't have something like that around you could just put you know uh, long pointy stones or something like that this just sort of builds on the whole arch uh, natural elements um, that are and now I'm going to just use two large skulls that uh, came from a similar sort of set and uh, just place them on next to the other skulls on the top of the arch you can see there in the bottom left corner of the screen there is a bag of skeletons I collect every time I go to the dollar store and I find skeletons for a 50 cents or a buck or something I grab as many as I can they can become very very useful as you may have seen in some of the bone stuff that I've built um, and there may even be a secret video on that so here I'm just adding just three stones as a line almost like a compass and now I've base painted the entire thing black but I uh, intentionally missed the uh, Christmas baubles and when obviously I went over this it, it went over the tiles so I just scrape them with a uh, with a craft knife and now I'm going to add some white glue into the pool 
and also into all the spaces between the um, black uh, glass squares. And I'm just going to use a, uh, you can use either a toothpick or a matchstick to just spread the white glue out. And then I use a paper towel just to wipe off the glue off the top of them so that it's just inside the cracks. And then we're going to use my master crafting glitter. It's not magic if it's not purple glitter as far as I'm concerned. Um, people who've been doing my treasure piles uh, will uh, remember that uh, glitter can be terribly messy. So I've come up with a plan to deal with that and you'll see that just now. So I'm going to fill in that central pool and I'm going to be tapping on the back of the piece just to move the glitter around so it covers all the glue and uh, get some good coverage and then I'm going to go around each of the um, metal spheres um, and put some uh, glitter in there as well so the idea is that there's going to be some sort of arcing magical energy between the central pool spire the cage and those metal uh, spheres so I'm just going to place purple glitter around all four of those and here's the secret weapon a plastic bag you could use a paper bag if you want and just tap all of the um, the glitter off into the bag and just I just use a paintbrush just get the, the excess off around the pools and now I'm going to use the painting technique from video 4 uh, I'm just not going to use the small square sponge to do tiles because I want to have like a burnt out effect so it looks like the energy has been burning into the actual tiles and here I'm just placing the grape mixture the white and black mixture on the skulls uh, just using the sponge it's much easier and quicker to paint this way rather than having to paint with a small brush or a big brush or anything like that and because it hits it um, quite uh, evenly um, it gives quite a nice effect what I'm leaving is the inside anything that's inside towards the pool I'm leaving black to continue that sort of burnt out look um, that this thing emits a lot of power then I'm just going on to the back of the baubles to give it a sort of a dusty sort of look and then around the bases just to get some edging on those uh, little black squares all right then just white paint I'm going to hit all the stones with the white paint just to uh, bring them out from the background and uh, it really really looks good so now this is uh, from video 5 the advanced painting technique to do the tiles um, I can show this pretty quickly there's a whole video on it and uh, you'll see in the black areas I just did some white highlights where I continued the highlights as you would see in video 5 I've just put those inside the black areas just to sort of accentuate the tile motif and here I'm using white glue to create some rivulets of raw energy flowing towards the metal spheres they could also be um, arcing lightning bolts um, whichever you however you want to describe it in the game it uh, really just has multiple different uses and you can describe it whichever way you like so it could be damaging to characters or not um, or just you know it, it can be recessed into the ground and it, totally up to you so here I'm just applying glitter on top of that and tapping it off into the bag and that will leave the arcing energy so that's the final piece and I'll just show you what it looks like so the archway with the teeth and the uh, spinning cage the skulls on the top the uh, pool of, of chaotic energy and uh, the rocks piled on top of one another as a sort of natural looking arch and the metal spheres with all the energy flowing towards the central pool and uh, that's pretty much it so uh, check out my Facebook page and the website thedmg.info